Hey everybody, it's Ray here with another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Cedar Creek Silverback 37 MBH model. That's right, I said 19 and a half. This is different than the 19 versions that have been produced for the last almost four months, roughly. Uh, we are entering into the time where the RV industry makes their mid-year model changes, which usually happens around the end of July, beginning into August in that time frame. Uh, so you're starting to see some new stuff that's going to start rolling out on the market. And this is one of them here. Um, Basically, on this unit, we have new graphics, we have a new front cap, uh, we're going to have new interior wood colors, and some differences. This particular unit is a mid-bunk, so it has a small bunk room in the middle, rear living room, fifth wheel, and a master bedroom up front. So we're going to take a few minutes and walk you around the outside and inside of this coach. On the front, you can obviously see the two LED lights there for nighttime hookup. You have LED running lights on the front cap up there also. We've got a nice size, large power awning, and there is an LED light strip up there. In the front section here, we have a large storage compartment area here. Gives you quite a bit of extra storage up here. There you can see the hydraulic landing gear. This has the Lippert six-point auto level hydraulic system. So it is faster and stronger than the cheaper electric system. You have two outdoor speakers. There is a gas hookup down there for a portable grill or something if you wanted to. It's down below. And you can also see that the metal wraps down and is coming down further and attaching to the frame down there. This is something new for the Silverback of the 19 and a half. They have gone to a drop Z frame. So this storage compartment got taller and a little bit cleaner looking than the earlier version. They've gone to the rubber uh, diamond plate looking floor here so that that uh, stuff doesn't slide around as bad. You also have the new end command center. This is a really big feature for them. This is actually now a better color-coded wiring system, some nicer relay systems and fuse systems for the electrical system on here, but also gives you a touch screen inside that you'll see that controls a whole lot of things for the RV. Nice large baggage door here, and this is a thicker door. So it's better insulated. You have the nice upgraded slam lock baggage door there. Two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. Notice the nice shine and reflection coming off of that fiberglass. This is a really high gloss gel coated fiberglass infused fiberglass. This is better than what a lot of the RVs on the market are using. The little round black thing there is where you can plug in a little hose. It's a little spray port so you can wash things off on the sides here. You have the nicer frameless windows. These are single pane windows standard, but they do offer an option for a dual pane window if you want. There's a little cubby hole here, which is okay for storage, but it's really meant for access to the central vac system. There's an on-off switch for the central vac system there, and if you want to manually shut it off kind of thing. But there's also a place to hook your hose to and do something out here if you need or if there's fittings inside. You got an electric outlet there and your um, cable outlet also. They're doing the nicer more ride step. This is a quad entrance step, comes down, touches the ground, can hold more weight and more stable than the traditional hang down step. And they also got a little nice welcome thing engraved into the steps, pretty cool. A um, Little bit wider entry door, does have the radius top, but the entry door is a little wider. It's 32 inch wide entry door instead of a 28 or 30 compared to many brands. You have a large folding entry handle. A 
Another new feature for the 19 and a half is going to be this slide out. The early version, or what they've been doing actually for the last couple years, have been a slide out with a vaulted ceiling, and they no longer do that. So this is a more traditional flat top slide room. You can now add slide out awning toppers to this for the customer that has to have those. So that is something that is different. The slide out's a little bit taller feeling inside and you have a little bit larger windows. So it's got a nice view when you're sitting at the dinette looking out over your campsite. Uh, again, frameless windows, they are tented. It's got a really nice clean automotive style look to it over the traditional um, windows of an RV where you see all the framework and everything. The rear end is just a hair taller. It's not quite of a drastic slope back on the roof system here. So that is a little bit different pitch up there. So that changed a little bit, which also makes it feel a hair taller inside. Uh, you have LED taillights on the back, standard four inch squared to bumper. This unit was ordered with the uh, inch and a quarter bike rack hitch that you can see kind of sticking out down there. Also, you can see down below the spare tire down there. So it's mounted underneath the bottom of the RV. This one was ordered with the optional backup camera. That is a wireless backup camera by Furion. And basically it has, actually I'm sorry, this is an observation camera. So it does work while you're going down the road too. Uh, some brands are just doing the backup camera, which only works at low speed. But there's a little wireless uh, monitor that goes into the truck. You basically, it kind of reminds you of a radar detector. You just suction cup it to the window, plug it into a cigarette lighter, and it sends a signal. And that's basically all it does. So you don't have to integrate any type of wiring into your truck or anything like that. Nice ladder going up and down the back. Comes down low also. A lot of brands, their ladder stops about that taillight area, and it's pretty hard to get to that first step. In the middle of the slide there is your stove exhaust. And down below here, you can sort of see back under there, there is the little white knob up there. That is to get to your ice maker, to turn the ice maker off and on, and your uh, drain for the ice maker there. Be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you are interested in purchasing one. Going up here, you can see the furnace exhaust out right there. Your power cord actually attaches right above the furnace there. And to the left, the little black square there is your gas and electric water heater. Down below, you can see the dump area there. And you also have a dump hose holder there too, if you wanted to put it there instead of the bumper. And then just right in front of the tire is a freshwater tank drain. So that's where that's at if you're searching for that on your new RV. Docking station on this side of the storage compartment. So here in the docking station, you have a light up there in case you got to come over here at nighttime. But the black knobs up there are to turn on and off the slide outs. So if you don't want your slide outs to move, even though they're all powered up and everything, you can come out here and shut those off. Outside utility shower. So you got hot and cold water on this side and that little blue hose there stretches out about 12 or 15 feet or something like that. And you can use it here or you can use it on the other side on the spray port. There's some instructions right there for winterizing purposes. And back behind the hose, you can see your two gray tank handles and your black tank handle. Nice and easy to get to, so you don't have to crawl underneath the camper to pull them or anything. Battery disconnect right there. Black tank flush, cable hookups, water heater bypass, winterizing valves, everything right here. Nice and easy to get to and do things. And there you can see your... Uh, power power cord or optional power cord reel right there if you wanted to use that Then here you have some jack controls by this LCD screen here. That's the Lippert my RV control center 
Again, slam lock baggage doors close nice and easy. Here you can see your hydraulic pump. You can also see the extra switch out here to manually do that or to do it from outside if you want versus just inside. Battery compartment and your inverter. Some control instructions here. Here you're going to have some basic information. So you've got your production date, 72418, model number, serial number, 235.85 R16 G range tires, gross vehicle weight, 16135, two 7,000 pound axles. Keep in mind that's only 14,000 pounds, but you have tongue weight. All the weight of the camper is not on the axles. A lot of it is actually on these front jacks right here. Those jacks are down on the ground holding up the front for a reason. Tire pressure, 110 PSI, and then you have your controls for the front jacks to just get it on and off the truck. So that is some of the features on the outside. We're going to take a few minutes and walk you through the inside of the RV so you can check that out. And while we're going that direction here, real quick, the dry weight of the camper will be found usually on a sticker like this 13346. So 13346 is what this particular camper went onto the scales at with the options that were ordered on it. Again, my name's Ray. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call if you're interested in purchasing one. Toll-free number, 888-417-8299. My direct extension's 203. Going up into the coach, we're basically entering kind of into the hallway area, but you can see an electric outlet down there. You have a fantastic fan control, ceiling fan control, and your dual zone air conditioning controls right there. All right, so we are up inside the camper now, and now you're gonna see some of the new inside features. Um, one of the first things you're gonna notice is gonna be the new wood. We're looking toward the rear end of the coach, again, rear living room model here, and basically you're gonna notice the slide out is a hair taller. The uh, rear of the roof is a little bit taller so it's going to feel a little different in here when you walk into them but new colors a little bit different wood style new refrigerator this is the optional 20 cubic footer they also have a new oven and new microwave and a few things that are going to be different in here new furniture So hitting on some of these features here, we have, again, a new furniture company that they are using. So the furniture is a little different. Coloring is very similar, but it is different furniture than what they had previously been using. The theater seat is power. You have the little cup holders and storage thing in there. Nice slide out looking out over your campsite area there. Nice big windows. Freestanding dinette, four chairs, table extension in the middle there. You have the pull-down roller shades on the windows. The ceiling is a little bit different uh, material, so it's got a little different color look to it up there. You have the fantastic fan up there with the rain sensor. Ceiling fan, which is going to be new for the new 2019 and a half version. It was something that they only did by special request on the Silverback previously. You can see the fireplace, Jensen TV, Jensen DVD Bluetooth stereo system with a couple speakers built into there. You'll notice the slide-out floor does not have any carpet on it right there. That being the kitchen area, they're trying to keep that a little cleaner looking. 
Whisper Quiet Air Conditioners, so you see a return there, but no big square in the center of the roof up here. So it's a lot quieter than the old traditional RV air conditioners. They do a really nice backsplash, and there's an electric outlet back there and some light switches there. But this is the new Furion oven that they're using now. So it's a nicer oven than what they previously used. The oven has a little uh, LCD screen in the middle of the knobs there. So you can kind of get a better temperature gauge and controls. It's auto lighting. So you don't have to get down there with a match like the old style you used to have to do. And then it's got a nicer, heavier duty grate and three burner stove top up here. And then they went to a new microwave that is a standard microwave but there is the option uh, to do a convection if you want um, that is a special request type of thing so if you're ordering a camper from us and you want that feature be sure to talk with your salesperson about that in floor ducted heat there's an electric outlet on the side of the island here There is four drawers on the island, and these drawers are the full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Another nice feature is the soft touch close. So you can kind of see there, when it gets so far, it closes itself. Solid surface countertops. You have the undermount stainless sink pull out high-rise faucet there nice crown molding the larger 20 cubic foot refrigerator so the freezers on bottom and there's basically two pull out drawers down there refrigerator on top but it does have this little uh, screen in it now you can see your brand there there's a pretty good sized pantry here too and those are pull out drawers on the pantry then you have a shelf up top but quite a bit of storage it's got really good depth to it And looking back toward the middle of the coach, you're going to have your mid bunk, and it has a kind of barn door style door on it that slides across the track there. Some people use this as a bunk. Some people kind of turn this into a little office space for themselves uh, or an extra little area to watch TV, basically. So you have a couch here. It makes into a full-size bed. And there is a window in here. There's some heat and air conditioning that comes into this room also. And there's some cabinets and TV hookup area here. But I've had some customers kind of use this as they'll take the couch out, put a desk in there, kind of use it as a small office if they're an on-the-road worker type of person. Uh, some will use it for the kids if they got a family. So, a few different things you can do with this little room right here. Now, going over to the side here, we're looking toward the front of the coach again, but we're looking up the hallway area. There's an electric outlet down there. You can also see your central vac and dustpan kick pan down there built into the side of the step. There's a propane leak detector and an electric box with some more breakers and fuses. There is your dual zone air conditioner control, your thermostat. Controls the one furnace, because you only have one furnace. And it controls both air conditioners here. The fantastic fan control and your ceiling uh, fan light switch right there. The steps are vinyl flooring. So that's pretty nice. No carpet to wear out right there. 
and you have a little step light. Got a nice handle going up the hallway here. And then here you have, it's a little hard to get to this and see it, but you have your in command center controls right here. So this is a pretty nice feature. Basically you hit the button, turn everything on. It's got a little passcode. So when you first get the coach, it comes with four zeros basically. Um, but this scrolls up and down. Kind of reminds you of your cell phone. You're just basically swiping up, swiping down to get the things. But water pump, water heater, interior lights, exterior lights, security lights outside. Um, generator stuff. If you wanted to put a generator on here, this actually has built-in controls for some of that. Now you obviously have to do a little more wiring and things to get a generator in there. But, you know, prime, start, stop, auto, hours meter, all that's right here. Battery conditions right here. Um, you know, awning light, in and out buttons for your slides, your uh, awning, all that stuff is done right here. And you can do individual light turn on and off here, or you can just hit one button and shut off a whole bunch of interior lights or turn on a whole bunch of lights. So pretty cool. Uh, also, you can light the water heater on gas right here. And this little sticker, this is pre-wired for portable solar panels. Um, if you wanted to do one of those controllers for the solar panels, that goes right behind here. Um, so something a little different there. And here, this is not a whole lot of storage here, but there is a little bit of room to stash some stuff in here if you want to. Now, another nice feature that these guys are doing that a lot of the competition don't are little built-in steps. These little steps go up here to the little loft area for your kids or for storage. So this is a pretty cool little feature, having the steps built in instead of one of those cheap little cheesy ladders. There's an electric outlet over on the left there, and then there's another electric outlet and TV hookup right there. There's, again, air conditioning coming out of the ceiling up here, and you have one of those turbo exhaust fans right here, too. So it's pretty cool. And then over here on the wall are some little switches, so you can turn off these lights up here without having to crawl up in there to turn them off. So it's kind of nice. Up top there is your rotation handle for your TV antenna. You have a window in the hallway here, and this window does open. To our left here, we have the bathroom area. Upgraded porcelain foot flush toilet. You have heat and air conditioning both in this bathroom. And you can see back there, we're going to pan up here, and you got some little cubby hole cabinetry there and a cabinet door skylight above the shower another fantastic fan in here this is pretty nice because it's a large fan and it helps exhaust out a lot of that moisture from a nice hot shower you do have the larger shower when you walk into it. You got the triple slide glass door there. And there's also a seat so you can sit down if you need to. Nice solid surface bathroom counter uh, here uh, with the little molded in sink kind of deal. A lot of them use a cheaper plastic. So that's something that is still a nicer quality in here. You got some doors down there and a little shelf area down there also. And then up above you have your medicine cabinet and a couple LED lights up there. The door to the bathroom is a sliding pocket door. So you don't have to worry about which way the door swings open when you're coming in and out of your bedroom at nighttime. So that's a nice feature there. Going into the bedroom, you have carpet, you can see down here. Plenty of room to uh, get up and get dressed in the morning. So there's plenty of room here at the foot of the bed. You have a four dresser drawer here with a little shelf. 
and then panning up you have a window you have your 32 inch flat screen TV there you can see one of the returns for the second whisper quiet air there also The unit has the king bed feature in it, but you can do a queen if you wanted. Window and shelves on both sides of the bed. Two LED lights with individual switches to turn those off. The little reading lights up there. And there's USB charging ports on both sides of the bed too. Electric outlet also on both sides of the bed. Now back here in the corner, it's a little bit different. The wall's kind of recessed back a little bit versus the other, the main portion here. So there is some room to actually get up into here and make the bed and stuff on this side. But they also put a couple little coat hook things up there too. Because of the new cap, you actually have a taller and larger um, wardrobe closet up front here. Two sliding glass doors, basically. But there is some more room, which I'll get over that way here in just a second. So on the side, you have some shelving, little laundry basket area down there. And they built in a cabinet shelf area here to the front wall. Nice closet bars going across. So you got a closet bar going all the way across the whole width of this coach. 